Yo guys, welcome back to Orca of Ages. How y'all doing? Last episode we got the little flippy flippers, so I came to this weird house in the woods because right now we're looking for a weird guy, and this house seems kind of weird to me. It's a witch. She's kind of weird, right? I am the great witch, Syrup, and this is my potion shop. Bring me what you want. These are expensive. I'm gonna spend some rupees though because I don't want to. I don't want to fill up my wallet. Go ahead and give me that. So right now we're trying to go down to Croissant Island or Crescent Island. I'm gonna go with Croissant Island. And we're helping make a raft and that's being made right now. But before we can leave, we need to find a chart that we're gonna get from a weird guy, according to Ralph. I think everybody in this overworld is kind of weird. So I'm not really sure who he's referring to, but I guess we're just gonna continue looking around. No way, Ricky. It's my boy Ricky! Ho! Oh, I'm Ricky! Usually, I can clear holes and cliffs with my patented jump! Wait, how do you patent a jump? What? But I'm not in such a good mood right now. You see, I lost my precious gloves. I think I left them by the tree, on the beach, but I can't seem to find them. Is that our responsibility? Okay, so we saw Moosh last episode, now we're seeing Ricky? All the throwbacks to Orca Live Seasons. Who's the last guy? It's the Triceratops. I don't remember the Triceratops name though. Um, okay, so he's looking for his punching gloves. By the beach. By the beach. Do I gotta dig it up? I almost forgot we have a shovel. I didn't even use it last episode once. Oh no. There it is. The gloves. How come he, f he loses his gloves in both games? That's so funny. Wait. I just realized. Tingle's here. Tingle's a pretty weird guy, and he makes sea charts in Wind Waker. Is that who we're trying to get to? That that would make a lot of sense. That all, that all adds up. You found them! Thanks! Now I'll help you. Find what you're looking for. Hop into my pocket. Dude, this is literally one of my biggest life goals. At the very top of my bucket list, it's the number one thing I have to do before I die. And that is to ride around in a kangaroo pouch. That just sounds like the most fun thing in existence. <laughs> just punch the bushes out of the way. A cliff like that one is a leap. I'll jump if you move up to it. Oh, no way. Look at those legs. The box jumps are paying off. Nice. Okay, Moosh always falls down the most simplistic of holes. But not Ricky. He's too good for that. Tingle, bro. Come down here and talk to a to a friend. I'm a friend that you've never met yet. Come on, Ricky, do something about this. Jump up in the air or something. What if I blow him up? Tingle! <laughs> Notice me, Senpai! <laughs> Notice me! What's going on here? Oh. Did I just screw myself? Oh, shoot. What have I done? I can't get back up there now, can I? Um, Ricky, will you come back for me? Can I meet you back at our meeting spot? He's still up there. Oh, no. What have I done? That's like the worst mistake I could have possibly made. Okay, he's back. Thank you. I was gonna say. First off, let's just walk around a little bit. Isn't what you're looking for over there? How do you know? What about what about the mystery seeds? Can I jump and hit him with the sword? Is that a possibility? Oh, it is! Dang, you can hit up high. Ooh, what's this, green clothes, sir? Are you smitten with forest fairies? My name is Tingle, the one and only. I am a true fairy. The villagers say that at 35, I should open up my eyes. But I say Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Uh, sure, yeah, we can be friends. Then from today, you and Tingle are friends. Yes, yes, as a sign of our friendship, Tingle will give you his chart that shows the way to the secret island. Is there a Tingle island in this game? Are there multiple islands? Something good may happen with the mystical seeds. I got those. These are the words that Tingle created. We love the Tingle Tingle Kululimpa. 
He says don't steal them, but at the same time, I kind of want to make a song called Tingle Tingle Kulu Limpa. <laughs> I can't stand this guy, so I'll see you later. Damn, Ricky, jeez! You can't stand Tingle, that's so funny. <laughs> He's not dealing with it. Something good may happen. Can I use my mystical seeds on ya? Huh. I'm not sure what he wants me to do. But we have our chart, so we should be able to go use our raft now. We needed to be in the past to use the raft, right? But we got the seed chart from the future, so hopefully it lines up. And then we don't have to make some like alterations based on the time zones. So what took so long? My raft is ready! Come over here! You know, I just had to travel through time, ride around in a kangaroo pouch, talk to a guy wearing a full green spandex outfit who floated around with balloons. It's been a long day, man. It's been a long day. Shove off from over there. The raft awaits. Climb on top and go for the ride, baby. I love climbing on top. You know how it is. Let's go. Oh, we can, we can control it. I don't want to go in there. That's bad news. Does this game have a whole entire Wind Waker element? <laughs> Got a whole ocean. No! Here I was thinking that Wind Waker was the first instance that Link traveled at sea. This might feel even more glamorous and immersive than Wind Waker. Okay, no, that's definitely not true. What's over here? What is this? Oh, don't hit that. I think that is what they call a dead end. Look at all these swirlies. I feel like I'm going to become intoxicated and hypnotized. Okay, that's just back to the shore. That looks like a scary library. <laughs> What's up with that? I, I don't even want to know, honestly. And I think I can go down right here. I'm just being guided by whirlpools. Why is there so many whirlpools in this ocean? Do whirlpools even exist in the ocean? Oh no. What is this? Oh no, a storm's starting to pick up. Hurricane? Here I am. Rock me like a hurricane. Is that a... Why are monkeys flying around? What are these things? They're taking my items, no! Are those chameleons? Oh my god, they look like chameleons. I love chameleons. I have a pet chameleon if you didn't know. This is Crescent Island. Okay, we have we made it. Okay, that's good. I've never seen a toke like you. You have ears. Are you long-eared toke? These things are called tokes. I don't even have my sword. There's enemies out here? That's rough. Okay, that one's blocking himself behind some rocks. What does that one have? Oh, that's my seed satchel. Ow, whoa. What do you want? Leave me alone. I don't know nothing. Well, that sounds highly suspicious. I'm innocent. I don't know who shovel it is. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Is this a seed? But yeah, for those of you who didn't know, um, not too long ago, about four months ago, I was going on a walk in a neighborhood around LA, and I ended up finding a chameleon climbing a telephone pole. And chameleons are not wild here. The type of chameleon I found is native to the Middle East. So did I just screw it? I think I just screwed it. So I'm pretty sure what happened is Somebody just lost their pet chameleon, unfortunately. Very sad day. Oh, I see what we have to do. Oh, but I don't have the shovel. It's, it's like a one-time push situation, huh? Well, darn. Where's that shovel at? I don't even know where he ran off to. Oh, here he is. Oh, it's, it's this abrosion. Hi, do you remember me? Yeah. Was her, was her name Pauline? What, no, what was her name again? Rosa, I'm sorry. You like 
forgot we dated? This is my first long trip in like forever. And I saw some weirdo with this shovel. I had seen before, so I like asked if he knew you. Then he like got all excited and went leaping off somewhere. What a weirdo. But that's not even the same shovel. That's a different shovel. They're from different areas. If you don't hang on to it, it could like wash out to sea. Wait, how did Rosa travel back in time? Did Holodrum take place in the past and then this game takes place in the future? Actually, the theme of my trip is the independent woman. So you have to wait for another date. We love a strong independent woman who needs no link. Okay, let's see. Now that we have the shovel, what can we do? Push that. Oh, is that it? That was so easy. <laughs> You're the one who I, um, I'm glad you came. I was thinking maybe I should hide. I mean, maybe I should go give this back to you here. That's right. That's freaking right. That's all I picked up, but maybe other Toke took stuff too, but maybe not. Maybe you should look around. I like how they have Pokemon sounding growls. That's kind of cute. And we have an... Looks like we have a puzzle right here. How is this going to work? Oh, shoot. I don't know if I can solve this. I think we need the feather to solve it. Got to make some jumps. But I've literally never heard of the Toke before in my whole life. I've played so much Zelda my whole life, but I've never heard of the Toke. Just so many more secrets to find when you're playing these Zelda games. Each one has its own little injection of personality into it. Which is why there's fans for every Zelda game out there. They're all special in their own way. Nintendo likes to make each game a unique experience, so it'll be forever memorable. I'd say it's a pretty good method. Oh, okay, we need the power bracelet. Where was that? Kind of cool how we're like getting drip fed our items back to us. It's kind of an interesting take on a puzzle for this island. Making the whole entire island its own like puzzle. It's a pretty big island. Where are we on the map? Oh wow. Overworld's pretty big in this game. Our guardian is at the center of the island. When the sun climbs high into the sky, the sea comes in and you can't get to him. Who is the guardian of the island? I am excited to meet this fellow. There's a spot just like this on the west side of the island. Was there? I don't remember seeing anything like this. Hi, chickens. Your little cutie patooties. Why are my bombs over there? Hmm. It's probably something to do with the time period we're in. <laughs> I wonder if the way we get the bombs is by going back in time until the house is pretty much blown over and just pick up the bombs a lot more easily. Put vine sprouts by strange walls for good luck. Um, can I pick up the vine sprouts? There was a scent tree here long ago. If you planted a seedling now, it would take hundreds of years to grow. Well, that's convenient. What? Are you selling my stuff back to me? Boy? That's the hoop I found. I'll trade it for 10 cent seeds. Then I'll trade you for your shovel. Uh, sure. Hold the button. Oh, this is very interesting. We're trading for our own items to go to new areas in the map and hopefully find something else that'll help us. Yeah, we gotta get up to that chameleon by circling around the whole entire island again. Jesus. Okay, let's go back in this cave with all the pots. Back to push and peep. Push and peep. <laughs> Sorry, that's like the relevant meme for this Let's Play, I guess. And... I don't see anything in here. Maybe it's just like a... It's the cafeteria hall. It's where these toke go to get to... It's where the toke go to get their mediocre meals. Here we go. Oh, do I need bombs? No. Okay, there is a staircase though, so... Can I push my way over there? Yeah. That's right, uh, here's the bombs, cool. 
Big boom. Throw a lot of bombs. Cause a lot of lag. Love some lag spikes. Out of here, turtle rocks. Do I have a dog in my room? I feel like I hear a dog, but I don't think there is a dog. Gosh, the seed. How many of these do we have? Four? Jeez, we're getting more of these than I thought. Okay, thank God we got these bombs. This opens up quite a few sections, I think. I think. No, 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 no. Levers. Oh, here's our first bubble bubble wall. Hey, look at Rosa. She's such a good girl. I love her music. She's a great pop artist. There's the flippy flips, but we don't have the feathers, so it looks like I can't get around. Hmm. There's like so many different things to do. It's okay, this island is large. Can I get past this? Doesn't look like it. That son of a bitch has my heart. So here we don't have the flippers, do we? No, we can't go through here. Bummer. Ah! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! <laughs> no, sir. All right. Hand it over. This is our precious tree, nursery. They say a century was planted here long ago. If I had seedlings, I'd plant it here. I don't have any seedlings. Oh wait, I can go grab one though, can I? Are the rocks going to reappear though? Cause that's not cool if that's the case. Yeah, how do I do that? Do I gotta dig a hole? I can't dig a hole either. I don't have a shovel. Also, today's comic question of the day. Last episode, I mentioned that I'm about to be doing a cross-country road trip across the whole United States. And that's, it's not gonna necessarily gonna be a vacation, but it's gonna kind of be. So that's gonna lead me in, is what do you want your next vacation to be? Or if you already have a big vacation planned, what is it? Where do you wanna travel to next? Leave your comments down in the comment section below. All right, we found the next victim. Another wall. Go bang! Banging. Ooh, orange chameleon toke. Welcome to the wild toke. The same of the game room for all fit toke. Today's prize is this! Oh, a scent seedling. Yes, please. Take the wild toke challenge. It costs 10 rupees. How wild are we talking? Uh, yes, please. Pass meat to each toke that runs behind the left and right. If you give meat to each one, you win. If you skip even one, you fail. <laughs> I really am becoming a lunch lady, huh? How did I... I made a lunch lady prediction like joke earlier. I didn't think it would actually come true. Oh shoot, he has to like land on top of him. Okay. We can do 10 tries. That's so funny though. It's kind of fun. We're playing Overcooked. Catch! Dude, there's this restaurant from my hometown called Lambert's that is famous for throwing rolls to you while you're at your table. Every like five to ten minutes, a baseball pitcher from one of the local baseball teams is like hired as their day job to go to that restaurant and just throw rolls to everybody around the restaurant. And it's really fun, honestly. The restaurant's really popular because of it. It's a really fun gimmick and everyone loves Everyone loves carbs, especially when the carbs are being delivered to you at a rapid pace. In this case, we're throwing gigantic chunks of meat, and I'm getting very hungry. I love meat so much. Yeah, we gave them the meat, and we got the scent seed lean! It'll produce mini seeds. I'm also going to produce mini seeds. Because my name is Seed or Wall. So it's. If it's in the name, you know it's true. Hey, is that a scent seedling? Let's plant it! Aw, teamwork. Make the dream work. Huh? What's wrong? It's not like it's gonna get big right away. It takes a long, long time for a seed to become a tree. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. So come back after a long, long time. Okay, we will do. How do I get the harp? That's what we need. I'm not sure which way I want to go next. Okay, this time, let's go- Nope! Sorry, I did not mean to <laughs> throw a bomb in your shop. I 
found that feather. You can have it for 10 mystery seeds. Okay, I just traded my shovel for the rock's feather. I think with this item combination, we can go and get the flippers. And then with the flippers, I can get the harp. And then with the harp, I can travel through time so I can get the mystery seeds. And then with the mystery seeds, I can buy back my items. Or the scent seeds, sorry. But I'll be able to back, buy back my items and... Then we'll be even closer to doing this. This is this is fun though. I like this island. I wasn't expecting something like this. All right, we got the bomb feather combo. Unexpected duo, but it works nonetheless. That little pool of water looks highly suspicious. Throw. That rock like caught my bomb perfectly. Play. Yo, what's up, little thief? Hey. You're the one who I, um, I'm glad you came. I was thinking maybe I should hide. I mean, maybe I should go give this back to you. Here. <laughs> That's right, I'll turn you into a chameleon steak. A toke steak. That's all I picked up, but maybe other toke took stuff too. I want to cut off your tail. Teach you a lesson, maybe. Okay, came back with the croissant. We gotta find out what's here. I'm too sussed. Oh, a whole secret underwater level. And Link can breathe underwater forever, it seems. Nice, Link is a Zora. Who would have thought? Get me out of here. That water is very cold and I forgot my wetsuit. Oh, okay, here's that weird platform. Still going up and, oh, we're about to get the seed satchel. I'm gonna need this. You're the one I, um, yeah, I was thinking maybe I should, okay, they're all saying the same thing. Just give it back. Just own up to your mistakes. You got caught red-handed. Can I talk to this guy? Buy something. A shield for 50 rupees. I did not realize I could talk to him this whole time. That would have been great. I would have saved so many hearts. Wait, do I have... Wait, I have the feather and the croissant right now? Wait, what? I'll give you your shovel back if you give me my hoop back. Okay, sure. And then... For 10 cents, okay, I can't get this. Oh, did I buy the feather with mystery seeds or something instead? I think I did. Okay, I just need the power bracelet and the feather. Okay, cool. I did not read that well enough, but we are in the clear again, I think. We're in go mode now. Let's go get that heart. So many rupees here, let's go. So many rupees, not enough hearts. Most tragic story ever told. I really love this concept of combining the overhead view and the side view. It's such a fun way to make the game feel 3D without it actually ever being 3D. Nintendo so clever. So very clever. Dude, as of recording this, there is a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. And by the time this video gets uploaded, that Nintendo Direct is already gonna be up. But I'm wondering right now if they're gonna mention anything about Oracle of Seasons and Ages remake. Like what would be the chances of that coming out as I'm doing my Let's Play? That would be hype. Hey, yo, the one who I am. Um, I'm glad you came. I was thinking maybe I should hide. Yeah, sure you were. You freaking liar. No, you're a harp, not a liar. That's like a musical joke, kind of, if you know what a liar is. <sighs> Can I swim here? Oh, wait. I got the flippers, but I think that water's just too rough. Oh no, we can't time travel. There's dirt in the way. We didn't get the shovel. I guess that's the next plan. All right, I'm not sure why the time travel spot is right outside this teepee. Are these teepees? They're kind of like teepees, but they look like they're made of sticks. They're more like lean tos Whatever they are, they're pretty cool. Well, this island's gonna be completely different now that I've gone back to the present, huh? There's a winding maze beneath this island. Maybe, maybe what? What's it gonna have me do? Is the minigame still here? It is, sort of. 
This is the Wild Toke Museum. We take a we Toke used to play here long ago, but not anymore. The Toke on your left and right are real. I mean, real looking Toke. They won't respond if you talk to them. Talk to me. Talk to me. Are they actual just like models of Toke or are they just standing still doing the mannequin challenge? Is that a lot? I need to learn my numbers. Three is the highest you should ever need to count. That's the highest I've ever counted. <gasps> my tree has grown! Okay, let's see if see how challenging it is to make it back to the tree in the present day. We have some more other we have some other trees that have grown. It said that long ago, a toke with no tail opened our guardian's mouth. Oh, that's they think I'm a toke because I'm wearing green. That's so funny. I have to cook dinner, poor all the toke, but by dose is all stubbed up. If I cook, it will taste awful. <laughs> give him, we're gonna give him the stink bag? No, we can't give him the stink bag <laughs> that the hand gave us in the toilet. What's that? Oh, get a good whiff. Ew. <laughs> You. Oh yeah, this stink bag traveled 400 years through time. That smell, oh, ew! What was that? My nose stings, that was stinky. Stinky? That smell, it cleared up my nose, thanks. That bag did it. I need it, it's unbearable. I'll trade you something really good for it. Mmm, <clears throat> some tasty meat. The chef's specialty. Thank you. Do they have fireplaces inside their lean-to? That seems very dangerous. It's a fire hazard. I guess you can put. You're supposed to have the fire in the very center of it. So the smoke can go up through the center. Guess my Boy Scout skills are coming through, huh? A little bit late. Boom, 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 boom. Not too much has changed. Well, it seems like some of these plants are growing. Hey you, listen to me. It takes a long time for trees to grow. The same goes for that vine you climbed down. Interesting, do the vines grow wherever the seeds are left in the past? Okay, this is a lot different. There's a lot less water up here now. Did I miss a direction I could have gone? I think that must be the case. We probably have to leave the seed up here in this corner so it'll grow and let us go up there, that's my guess. So let's go back to the past again. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this. Well, that didn't work. Can I push it <laughs> or something? Oh, I can, okay. G get out of here, Lever, I hate you. <laughs> You're so annoying. Are there any more that I can replace? I guess I'll push this one in front of this cliff yeah the temple has changed a lot I'm guessing this is the temple right here right it looked more like a temple when we were in the present okay did it work it did let's go we have a new vine to climb and that vine is also still there and hopefully the other one is still there that we put there as well okay let's keep on exploring I'm like I'm enjoying this island and the concept a lot, but it is taking a long time. <laughs> that much also has to be said. That little crab down there is giving me so much life. Mr. Crab Cakes. He's our pet. He's the only crab we love on this island. Every other crab is dead to us. Yeah, it works. Cool. We're making our rounds. It's all coming together. This island is like its own dungeon. So sick, and we got our scent seeds, finally. Their scent attracts monsters. So we got these in Oracle of Seasons too, but I don't think I ever had to use them for anything. They didn't seem that useful. I'm wondering if they'll have more uses in this game. Okay, let's go back and buy the shovel again. All right, I'm sick and tired of you selling my own items back to me. Just give it back and stay out of my life forever. Thank you. Oh wait, what? Oh, I guess I have to buy the the power bracelet. Gotcha, we've got all the items, cool. 
Everything's back to normal. Okay, back in the sword cave. We have all the items, so I'm wondering if I can do this puzzle that was back here. It seems a little bit confusing. Okay, I think I want to start off by jumping over. I think we just like push a lot of these blocks into the void. We should be good, right? Oh, this might be it. Okay, I thought I was gonna block myself, but you don't have to push all of them out of the way. And for a Gasha Seed. I know Gasha Seeds give us rupees sometimes, sometimes rings. I think maybe some heart pieces. Is there anything else apart from that that we could possibly get from a Gasha Tree? I forgot, couldn't we tell her some sort of code? Do I have to go back to play Oracle of Seasons and tell Rosa the code that that one girl told me on the beach last episode? It seems like that's going to be what I have to do. Okay, I'm going to circle all the way back around to the bottom left-hand corner of the island, because now I can access that other time travel spot. Platform just a little bit longer, Mario. You got it. Your legs can last forever. You've been jumping for as long as I've been alive. I love how I'm pretty much the same age as a lot of my favorite video game characters. I think Mario and Link are both a little bit older than me, but not by much. I think it's just by like maybe five or six years, I think. I feel like people born in the 90s were born at like the best time for all of the biggest IPs. So we could like grow with said IPs and characters. I don't know if there's any like Harry Potter equivalent or... I'm trying to think of other big things that I had. Nintendo is one of those huge things for sure. Okay, these aren't my crab cakes. Those are just evil imposters. Okay, I think we're finally gonna be making it to the third dungeon maybe? <laughs> is this it? Are we gonna have to go in and out of here at different times? I think the Moonlit Grotto. That's a kind of cool name. What makes it Moonlit? I have to always listen to the music at first. Very important. I hope these blocks stay broken and I don't have to like rebomb them. That was so easy. Oh, these guys. Are we gonna get the flute in this episode? Is that the name of it? Here, let's see if I can use a harp, because no, the flute's not in this game, I don't think. Okay, but it does kill him. Cool. Dungeon map. Whoa, what was that? I need to see the side. Okay, let's see the shape of the map. It's some crescent moons. Ah, for Crescent Island, I get it. Okay, I have the hiccups all of a sudden. These blocks do come back, but I don't think we have to come back here ourselves. Okay, if these hiccups don't go away in the next, like, 30 seconds, I'll probably end the episode here. This is not a problem I have very often. <gasps> no. Not the anal beads every single time. <laughs> I don't know why I call them that, but, like, what else are they? What other equivalent is there in the real world to what those are? Oh, I remember these guys from Minish Cap. You have to use the Gush Jar to kill them. But I don't have a Gush Jar. Wise Owl, help me. The four crystals tie it all together. Is this one of them? I just broke it. <laughs> there was a loud sound, far off, like something being knocked loose. I hope I was supposed to do that. That didn't sound too good. This caused like a freaking earthquake. We get no say so in what direction we move here. Can I break through this block? Will it go through? No. Confusing puzzles! We love it! Let's break that block. And if I push this get through. Can I break it with the bomb? Oh, I see. No, but I can break that with the bomb. 
And here we go. Success! I love the smell of success at night. There was a loud sound. What's happening? What am I breaking? I hope it's not too important. I'd feel bad breaking some sort of ancient artifact that has like a lot of historical value behind it. I'd like listed off my sin. In, like a very specific manner, didn't I? Okay, well, I actually just got hit with like a huge hunger pain, so I'm gonna probably go eat like a croissant or something. Seems pretty on brand. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button for me, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, 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 you see me making rupees, pockets looking like a Skittles bag. Buy a hundred bombs and blow it up, it cause a lot of lag. There's a lot of weapons, only I can wield the master okay. sword. If it's Stathos in my way, I'll swing and break his spinal cord. Nothing can stop me, not a dragon, not a hoe. You think I'm capping?